wants to go to the club. You want to be in that VIP line. You want to get to the front. You want everyone to worship you and love you. But the club can be dangerous. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, The Club. This book was written by Ellery Lloyd. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense mystery. All right, so this book was so much fun to read, okay? First of all, the fun part is the fact that it's these really big clubs everyone wants to get in and there's a part of the book where they describe how celebrity has changed over the years. It used to be people who you didn't want to be around and spend all your time with and now they're these people that we worship, right? But this book is so much fun because it is your classic whodunit. This person? No, it was Mrs. Smith in the candle. No, it was Mrs. Smith with the candlestick. No, it was you over in the library. This is the game of Clue come to life, <laughs> okay? And one of my favorite quotes comes on pretty early, so let me read that. And it says, in some aspects, it was a mistake, as a woman especially, to be really efficient at your job over a long period of time. Because if you made things seem too easy and people had no experience of things not running smoothly, it came to see as if anyone could do it, okay? So that quote is so important because for one, that is the story of my life. I mean, that could be the name of my biography. <laughs> if you make things look too easy, people think that anyone could do them and they don't value them, okay? That was me in every single office I was in. Oh, give it to Kyla, she'll take care of it. Oh, Kyla's so good, oh, Kyla can do it. And you know what? I did rise to the occasion and I did it most of the time. But that can really be to your detriment right if you make everything seem so easy if you make it seem like anyone can do it then people they start to take that for granted or at least they don't appreciate it in the way that you would feel that they should okay so that point and that quote is really important in this book because this book is like below deck but for hotel staff it's also kind of like that vanderpump show where the people are working in uh restaurant staff because you're getting to see the staff of all these people that work at these different clubs it's the personal assistant, it's the head of housekeeping, and it's these sibling brothers who are the owners. And so you find this dead body, you have to figure out who did it, there's a mystery child running around, there's these celebrities that are here, and then also there's all the news and paparazzi, and you're like, who did it, who did it, who did it? But also, there are so many different layers to the stories, right? So I have to read this part because there were so many different characters and relationships, I don't wanna confuse them, okay? So you have Ned and Adam, who are siblings, Adam and Laura, Nikki, who had a baby, and Ron, and then her relationship with Ned. Then you have Jess and her parents, and then later you have Annie and Adam, but also Freddie and Annie. And then there's a little bit of Lyra in there because she's all around. And it's just like a little sprinkling of Georgina and Jackson as well all of these different characters and i'm telling you who did it why does this person care why is annie involved wait freddie all of these characters and it's broken up by these classic stories that you would read in a newspaper or a tabloid where they're telling you this has happened we're trying to figure it out and so you're reading it and it's a really compelling story right you're reading you're reading you're like just tell me what happened just tell me <laughs> Tell me what happened. Really good book. If you are into mysteries, the club is really good and it's really cute and it's really modern, right? Because it's all about celebrity and getting to these big places where you don't have access and what happens behind closed doors, right? We all wanna be in the room where it happened. This book is all about that, okay? So if you enjoy book reviews like this, if you enjoy hearing me talk about mystery books or, or fiction books or nonfiction, all the stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you always get new content like this coming to your feed and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you always know when I release a new video, okay? So um, the reason why that quote is so important is because this book is all about staff 
and personal assistants and the head of housekeeping and how they interact with these two owners of the company who are also siblings. Okay, so when you can be a jerk to the point where someone wants to kill you, but then they actually end up killing the wrong person and then it just compounds from there, okay? And it's a really great book because who would possibly hurt them? And also they work so hard that they're overlooked. Is that why someone didn't like you? Like you weren't realizing how much of a contribution they were making. You weren't realizing how important they were. All of it, okay? Absolutely all of it. So would I reread this book? No. And the reason I wouldn't reread it is because I don't think I'm gonna forget the story for a long, long time. I really don't, I don't think I will. So no, I would not reread the book, The Club, okay? So thank you for hanging out with me today as we discuss this book. Let me know, are you a big fan of celebrity tabloids? You read the news, do you say, oh wow, look at them, right? Cause this book will make you look at it and say, but what really happened? I mean, really happened, okay? So thank you for hanging out with me today on Kyla's reading day and I will see you next week. Bye.